All right, let's do this. What's going on, guys? Welcome to T3G. I'm Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. And today we're doing our coverage of the weekly shows that we do. And uh, we're going to start out with doing Agent Carter since I didn't watch it last week and we couldn't review it. Yep. Yeah. So I really, I really liked this. It was kind of the payoff for the season. So there was a lot of that. Go on, Doug. <laughs> there was a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of setup for, you know, uh, with her kind of being doing her own thing while working in a government organization. And at some point, you're going to get to a point where people are just aren't like people are going to notice that you're doing weird stuff. Right. Um, and Susan finally did. Susan, Susan caught up to what, what she was doing that she, she was somehow involved. She mm -hmm. didn't know how exactly. Uh, and they decided to go ahead and arrest her. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so they, they got her. They got her interviewed. She gave them kind of like a little cover story. Mm -hmm. They didn't really buy it. Mm -hmm. uh, Jarvis comes in, and mm -hmm. he's like, oh, here's this signed confession from Mr. Anthony Stark. Right. Or not you? Anthony. Um, um, Howard. Howard. Jesus. Uh, so for his, here's a signed confession for, from Howard Stark. He'll be back in town in like a couple days, blah, blah, blah. It's just like he'll come in and cop to everything as long as we get to go Which was free. definitely, I was like, this kind of weird. Yeah, I was kind of like, man, that's like a like, weird. This is a stupid way to go. I was like, I don't think you can really come back from that. If you right. say, like, I did all this stuff, and then you go, go and try I to mean, say you did. he is Howard Stucks, so he might have the best right, He might have had something. The, he yeah, might yeah. have 20 lawyers that are the best, literally, only 20 lawyers in the world. Right, right. Yeah. And, uh, but then they leave the room. They're like, we're going to think about it. They leave the room, and he's like, um, I am yeah. it up. Like, yeah. I signed it. Yeah. We, should, we should go. Yeah. <laughs> um... I don't know. I enjoy both episodes actually. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, this show is definitely, I mean, this mini series is definitely growing mm -hmm. on me a little more. Um, I enjoyed both episodes. The only thing I didn't like about it is like this government agency is stupid because if they okay, so Agent Carter helped you uh, in the last episode before the before the arresting episode. Sure. Yeah. In the last episode, you guys went with her to, to Russia. Russia, and not only did she introduce you to uh, government uh, uh, soldiers. Right, that are still part of the government and clearly trust her. Right. right, and she came back with information. Now all of a sudden you're second guessing her in this episode. That came that, to me. That was a little more like you guys are dumber. And I, but I think that comes into play with with the. Now, granted, like if I saw somebody like, oh. Well, you know, she lied about this. This is clearly her, because I can recognize, obviously, the tet, you know, the, the birthmark, birthmark or whatever, and. Uh, so, yeah, would you second guess a little bit? You know, okay, well, clearly she hasn't been telling us everything, but I don't think you go as far as, like, like you got like they threatened to beat her up, you know, like other uh, yeah. other things. Like they, well, I they, like that they sent in, so they sent in, like, 15 dudes to get her, and she's like... She kicked her ass. She's like, listen, Mr. Jarvis, I need you to hold, uh, block the door off for me, and uh, I'm going to go handle some... And she, she beats, like, two, three dudes' ass, comes out, beats up one of her co-workers' ass, and then they and they flat out say, like, so you're telling me one woman or like one like one little woman, yeah, uh, uh, beat fifteen angels, be, be fifteen grown men up. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, 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 she definitely did. She whooped y'all ass. Yeah, yeah, no, that, I mean overall, I, like I said, I enjoyed both episodes. I thought it was really really good how they did the two episodes. I'm glad I watched them both in a row because I think I would have been more angry. I wouldn't have liked the first episode more because it would have been then like, ah, oh, really? Now I gotta watch it. But since I watched them both in a row, I think I enjoy them more. And I do like the fact that in the second episode, after she got arrested, uh, that they figured out that okay, the doctor's clearly evil, and he's yeah, yeah. I'm glad that everything kind of came to life. Yeah, I'm glad everything because like if you try and she to, like gave them the full like yeah, this absolutely. is the whole truth. Yeah, and like the, for them to like try to expand that or extend that, you know, on the doctor part. Like, they had to, because it's a mini-series, so they can't keep dragging that out. Right. So they had to, and I'm glad they did it already. And uh, honestly, I, I thought the overall, the whole episode, although this again goes to, like, how stupid these agents are, they keep seeing this chick, they keep pointing the gun at her, they said shoot to kill because this chick 
is a bad as I saw a child destroy people in Russia. She's a grown woman. That yeah, to, I, would, I would hate to see shoot what to kill the guy's putting a gun in her. She drops and he's he gets knocked out because he didn't pull the trigger. I pulled the trigger three times ago. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm sorry, but if you yeah. tell me so, a little Watch. girl destroyed Fall, man falling woman in <laughs> Russia. This woman is the same as that little girl, only now grown up. No, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I mean, listen, I I have an issue with you know, power being abused, but like at this point, if you know for a fact this yeah. is a thing, and she just dropped. Yeah, she, she did not she, walk down the steps. She, like, she dropped. She like hit, uh, skipped, she skipped down the freaking like you seven shoot. stories or you whatever. Shoot. You shoot and ask questions later. Absolutely. This, in this, in this Absolutely. part, you shoot and ask questions yeah. later. So like, so like this showed a lot how stupid some of these people are in this agency. But that being said, I did like the sacrifice that the chief did. Like I'm glad they couldn't save him. The was, sacrifice. Yeah. Was well, it also great. sets up. Uh, it sets up more towards the the little the little one shot because the they, they had a different chief Howard at the time. Stark, right. They had a different chief at that time, so that's right. why I was kind of like, I wonder how they're gonna do that. And this was that was a great. Like I think this he he kind of had his own little side investigation, and he was moving more towards the idea that maybe Howard Stark was in yep. you know in on it. Yep. And then having been manipulated by this Russian doctor. Like, now he's pretty much on her side, and he's like, listen, tell my wife I love her. Tell, tell my wife I'm sorry I, didn't, I missed dinner. And he hops out yeah. the window, blows up, which was crazy. Yeah. But it's also kind of ironic that he blowed up, blowed up, blowed up. That's a word. Blowed up. He blowed up because of a prototype Iron Man I remember. Right. As they said, it's a prototype for a new armor he's developing. Right. And he just kind of left it at that. And it's like, oh, it's unstable power source. I'm like, man, really? Like, it was, and that was like, I usually don't like the little gimmies like that, and like on Gotham, which we'll talk about a little later, but uh, that was a really good one. That was like, yeah, it was, I, I was I like, that was like, his son is going to be Iron Man. You know that. We know that. Here's a little thing. Here's a little gimmick. You're welcome. Right. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I mean, overall, I. I, there's really not much I have to say. I'm excited for the next episode to see what they do. I want to know uh, what the what the device is. Like, uh, yeah, what, I definitely. What, what, I, I mean, clear, it well, clearly it's not even a device. It's it's the gas. Oh, it's, right, it's right. The yeah, they did they did use it. It was right, the gas. They used the gas. Um. So and I want to know what it is though. So it just causes people to go crazy and kill each other. Right. I want to know what, like in in story it is. Like, is it right? I'm thinking maybe. I'm thinking maybe it's like a variant of the Death's Head virus. Um, the Death's Head virus like kills people, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking they they might kind of go a little different route with that, but they probably might call it the same. Right. But I don't know. It, it, they really didn't give us much. It no, was just like, I'm going to relieve this, I'm going to release this gas, we're going to leave, people are going to kill each other, and like, that's it. Right. Like, we're not even talking they about went, it. They went nuts, and they killed each other, and that was... Pretty fast, pretty fast reaction yeah. too. Yeah. So... And it didn't spread, like, through walls and stuff, so it's fairly localized. Right. So it's got to have, like, a pretty good exposure for it. Right. So it, it's it's going to be interesting to see what it is and you know, what they do with it further. I mean, they don't have much time to explain everything. I think we've only got two episodes left. Yeah, so they really got to get on the ball for the next two yeah, episodes. Yeah, because we've got the, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. premiere coming up pretty fast. So. Yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, overall, I just uh, I thought they were great two episodes. Um, um like I said, I think I would have enjoyed it a little less if they I had to watch them separately. But since I watched them all together, uh, they were definitely good two episodes. It was yeah. a good two parter, and and I enjoyed it. And I'm happy to see that they're uh, just kind of going a little more. There was just more going on in both of these episodes. Sure. Where in the first beginning of this miniseries, it was it slower. Was, it was slower. So. It was slower. Yeah. And that's that's what you kind of need nowadays with shows. It needs to be something that gets your attention and, it needs, and action it, it needs and, to and, happen faster. and stuff really that does. happens needs to happen. It really just needs to grab a hold of you. And and they're doing that a little better now. Absolutely. Yeah. And I hope so. I hope that even though it, you know Agents of Shield for me it, it has gotten a little better. Still not great, but it has gotten a little better. I hope they take this into consideration and, and utilize this and, and get it more. I figure, you know, it's the second half of the season, you know, just go for it. Just well, now go you, you've it, got you know? some more powers. Yeah, you've got more, powers I now. think you have, even if you, because before you had, you know, you had your specialists who right. were the real badasses, and then you had, you know, the home team. Right. Well, now, because, you know, Sky's probably going to be a little bit on, you know, she's going to be home, 
you know, bed bound maybe right. for a little while. Um, they're probably going to have to deal with that. Like she might have, you know, have a nightmare and she start freaking out, start shaking the whole place down. Right. So they'll have some drama there while the mission is happening. Although I will so say there's this, there's going to be some interesting I stuff. I will say this, even though we're going a little off track. Sure. I hope that they don't treat Sky like she's an outsider. No, this girl's been with you. It doesn't matter what kind of power oh, she yeah. has right now. This is not a disease. It's just a power. You have Thor. You've seen the Hulk. Get over it. Yeah. This is, I, th I, like, I, I hope, hope they just integrate her. Real I, fast. I, mean, they, I hope they try to like help her. Figure it Absolutely. out, you know, get, it, get a control of it. Yeah. But I think it'll it'll work. Yeah, really I don't well. want I think, you. I think uh, it's gonna be a good. I think that's gonna be a good season. But I think you know, Agent Carter is gonna be a good. I think they're gonna. It's gonna end well. I think they're gonna end it well. I have, I have a good feeling that they're gonna end it well. Uh, I mean, then again, it could always not be a good feeling. But sure. right now, it's a good feeling because they've done nothing but progress in the series. So hopefully, they end it really good. Yeah, I hope so. It deserves a good ending. Absolutely. So now let's go into Gotham. Gotham. Okay, so... <laughs> here, well, here, let me start this off. We're going to discuss the episode in about a minute, but let me ask you this. Okay, so from what I understand, from what you've explained like to me, Paul, right? Let me, let me, get, let me, let me get into this. So, <laughs> the kid was Joker. Kid Clearly. Was he did a good joke. job, too, going he psycho was, at yeah, the end he there. He was great. Like, he the had way, that kind of that switch. Yeah. Yeah, he had that switch that was crazy. So yeah. that was really good. But here's my question, okay? Now, once again, I don't, haven't done the comics sure. like you have. So I need to know this. So from what I understand, the man in the red hood was Joker. That yes. he ran with that. Next episode is the man with the red hood. Yes, the red hood gang. But the so the reason that the guy who became Joker uh, got the red hood is the red hood was already something that was established. Okay. So the red hood was already something that was established. And then the Joker and he went took into over that. Gotcha. Yeah, he went into that because the red, you know, he he was basically and that a was comedian. before he actually became the Joker. Yeah, right. because he was just a comedian. He was but down on his luck. And again, this is one of the many versions of his origin. Well, sure, absolutely. But like, Clearly, they're going this, on yeah. In this route, version yeah. of the origin, he he like he had a, a wife, I think, and a kid. And like was a comedian and had just like super down on his luck, no money, just needed a payday. Mm -hmm. And you know the gang element, in, right. the gangster rather okay. element in in Gotham was like, hey, we've got this job, and listen, zero risk, red hood, you. right? It's I a red you. hood job. Gotcha. So we just need somebody to do it, right? And you get the, you get the payday. Okay. So he was like, yeah, totally, and that's when he fell in the ass. Okay. Well, that that explains it. Now let's go into the episode. So. For, so we were both really kind of angry about the circus thing in the last episode, where it was like, hey, we should go to the circus, and I'm like, man, they're going to screw this up. Well, you were more angry than me. I just figured, okay, it's going to be the circus, so what, we'll see probably the Flying Graysons, but obviously different Flying Graysons, and that's what we got. We got. We definitely did. Flying we got, we got even older than we thought. We got older than we thought. Yeah, we, we got the even older. The parents just got married. For the, yeah. I like I like because at the end there, she was like, well, maybe we'll name him Gordon. He's like, no, we'll talk about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll no, talk. I'm like, no, no, you're we'll going to definitely name him Dick. <laughs> well, no, I think I think his older brother's name is Gordon. Oh, is it? Okay. I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken, but I think I think he, I'm, I'm almost certain he had an older brother. Mm -hmm. It might have been Gordon. Okay. Well, um, I mean, overall... They that, that could be the joke. Sure, absolutely. And overall, they, they didn't mess that up. That part of it was it, They did a really great job with Haley Circus. I was I was shocked. I was genuinely shocked. It makes sense in the universe. Haley Circus does travel, so they could have come to Gotham several times over right. the years. So I, I really... I like how they I did like it. it. I was very shocked yeah. that I liked how I did it. Yeah, they, they did, did a great it. job. But they did a great that. job. Every All the characters... Kind of had their own little quirkiness, which is also right. consistent with the story. So I really, really liked the entire Haley Circus thing. Um, I don't necessarily like the fact that Joker's origin is at Haley Circus. Yeah, I agree. I mean, and I, I think I that's mean, kind of like a. I think I don't know if they did this on purpose, right? But like, Robin originates at Haley Circus. To say that Joker also originates at Haley Circus, Joker kills another Robin later right. on. So it's just, I, I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it, it's kind of weird for me to well, like have thing, that connection. The thing for me is like there's definitely a few origin stories to Joker because sure. from what I understand, Joker was that killed Batman's parents. Is that not correct in one of the stories? He was the I guy... I think that was one... I don't know if that was ever like a canon okay. version. I think they talked about... I think that was on the animated series. Was there it? There was like... Like they talk, I think, yeah, I think you're right. They, they I think hinted that was at that. They hinted at that, but I think that. that, but I think he was lying. Okay, I think okay. it turned out that he was lying. All right, well, well, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but I mean, overall, I mean, I like that. I mean, I enjoyed. Listen, the kid, whew, kudos to him, man. He was when he great. went into that laugh, 
Yeah. He had that menace. Yeah, he was Joker like, cry, hat. cry, cry. And I was like, what the? And I was waiting for it, but it just came in so subtly. He did have the hair, too. The the, the slicked over hair. Yep. Just like the joke. I thought overall. He did He did a great job. Kudo, if, if, if he Ledger was alive, I think... And oh. even I think you know you know what the guy that plays the penguin he got a compliment on Twitter from Danny DeVito saying good job. Yeah. I hope Jack Nicholson gives this kid a good job for yeah. doing the Joker because you know well, what I, he did a menacing Joker. He did a greatly menacing Joker and it was super creepy. And you know you have that setup where now you know I, I watched a, a featurette for for the next episode mm -hmm. of Gotham and they were talking you know they had. Um, the guy who plays Gordon, right. who's talking about how this next episode is really bringing the, uh, the idea of masks into Gotham. Right, sure. Um, and how that could be like a personality. Right, right. So I really hope that now that so they've really set up Scarecrow early on. Right. They really have set up Joker early they on. They really have. Like, they're going to set all these things up, and I really hope they play them out. I hope I want them to play them out sooner. Well, here's the thing. I, 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 I want to. Is it weird that I want like a teenage Batman? Yeah. Like, no, like, no, no. I agree. Like, I think maybe not. Just, maybe not like a full Batman. No, gear, no, listen. But like, I think the kid should go out like on a mission. But it looks like this early is. On. Listen, they might have said this is Gotham before Batman. I think they're changing that around because look, right now, what do we have this episode? Bruce Wayne got involved in his company. He straight up told the board. He was like, "Listen, listen bitches. If I was older, you guys won't be." around like he straight up told him that like if I was older and I was actually in full control you guys are gone and not only did he say that he also said there will be an investigation regardless yeah, of my yeah, age yeah there will be an investigation yeah, lawyers will be involved lawyers will legal be involved. action will so be listen they might have started this series and thinking okay this is Gotham before Batman I think now like you have said okay next season Five yeah. years in a, uh, five years ahead. Jump five years ahead. Jump five he's years like ahead. He's like 17, 18. Maybe not full Batman gear. Not full Batman, but, but like, like he's starting. Yeah, he's, he's in that. He's, he's in, in that. What, what, he's in that Nolan, like the first, first like right. twenty minutes of Nolan, yeah. where he's in that like black outfit with the ski mask, where yeah. he's just doing like the parkour. Yeah, he's, he's the, learning. He's the, like uh, doing all that. I, he's doing I his truly, spelunky. truly hope they go that route because I, I think that will. I think it makes sense. It, not only will it make sense, but I think it will save the show. But I think it'll also it'll, it'll humanize Batman a little bit. It will humanize Batman because to a say okay, bit. so okay, he was gone five years. Okay, so he finished school. He wouldn't have had the time to like have this mysterious like martial arts training, right? Right, right, and all right. The, like this crazy stuff that Batman like Batman is that kind of catch-all character where the writer is like, I want him to be able to get out of the situation. How? Well, he knows how keto. How does he know Hapkido? Well, he just does because he's Batman. There's like a mystery part of his life where he just was out and about learning right, everything. Right, right. Batman knows everything. Like he, <laughs> like somebody mentioned, I was watching online, somebody was mentioned like, uh, I think it was like, oh, uh, Captain America knows like five different types of fighting. Yeah. Batman knows 150. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, Captain America <laughs> like, has like a, a realistic <laughs> number of fighting styles he can do. Like he has a limited... Uh, like he has like a human amount of experience, whereas Batman's superpower is a superhuman amount of experience. Yeah, like, like the guy just he, he he knows everything from like uh, he's a high level coder. He is um, a he weapons de developer. developer. He's, he's not a weapons a, he's not... developer, designer, developer, manufacturer. Right. Uh, you know he can do everything from like sketching it out on paper to welding that together and making it work. And honestly, <laughs> honestly. I like that Batman. Like in Nolan, they made him more human because he didn't know all that. He wasn't the developer of his weapons. He, you know, he might have like the the throwing stuff for the the batteries. Yeah, he had the batteries and stuff. Like right, that. but like all the weapons and stuff, that was Fox. That was Fox. Fox, Fox was gave him Lucius all the weapons. Fox's yeah, G. like Fox's Fox gave G. him all the stuff in the movie, and I kind of want to see the Batman that does everything. And right now, we are technically getting that because one, he's doing he's everything like, himself. He's like, hey. I'm 14. I'm gonna go to my company, sit with the board, and go and threaten their ass. Yeah. Like this kid is already. He's investigating. He's got a wall of investigation. Yeah. Like he's already becoming a detective at 14. Yeah. No, I I hope they do do that, Batman. And honestly, like you said, they jump five years. Next season, if they go that route, they're saving the show. I think they are because yeah. clearly the show. I don't think you. Listen, I don't the show think you have cannot, that much more to do in the, Gotham. The show cannot go on without Bruce Wayne, and we've seen that. Every time they try to do it without Bruce Wayne, 
it hasn't worked. The Scarecrow episode was good. It wasn't great. It was good. Right. The Joker episode, I think, because we saw the Joker develop, we saw Bruce Wayne be a. But badass. again, I think even with the Scarecrow and the Joker episodes, those are Batman's villains. You're yeah, really seeing those are. elements of Batman show they up are, in the show. Absolutely. And Plus, think, you already have Riddler. I mean, clearly, Nigma is there. And they he and he did. I guess he mentioned something in some sort of interview that there is going to be some sort of breakdown. Right. Uh, and how that's going to go down. So I think, you know, we're going to have him go down a darker path. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. I really, I'm not going to lie. This, this, I mean, obviously we're off the episode pace, but the episode was great. Yeah. I had I, no problems with this episode. It kept my attention. I was, I loved seeing that kid do Joker, and that was just awesome. And I think if they do, obviously, a five-year jump, they're going to have to get a new actor. But I hope an actor can pull off... That, that like well, that you, had kid, said, you had said he was like the same age as, as, as he as clearly that. isn't. He's probably yeah, he's he, maybe like two three years older. I was gonna say about three years older. He seems more like he's sixteen seventeen, where sure. Wayne's probably fourteen right now, maybe thirteen, maybe. Yeah, I, I was I was uh, for some reason I was under the impression that he was like twelve. Yeah, he's definitely in the younger yeah, part. So he's, he's definitely he's a, he's a so, preteen. Yeah, so I mean, you know, clearly Joker's got a few years on him, but they did a great job. And, you know, if they do do the jump, because, listen, right now, the kid that does Bruce Wayne, he's doing a great job. Yeah. That kid's got it on, on like, good he, for he's him. He's got that dissociation. He's got that dissociation with, with, not necessarily with reality, right. but with humanity. Yeah, like absolutely. He's, he's like, listen, I'm over here being awesome. You guys are over here. I, I'm right. just, I'm running the show. You guys don't even know. Here's the thing. Which if, if next season they only do one year, that's fine, because as long as the season after that, they jump five. Yeah, because if they want to give the actors to you know kind of and again, aging it, a little it, bit, it show that on. they're aging, because then the year after that they could say they're fine because they look older, right? Because if you have to now change up who's acting who, that's going to be a little crappy for the studio and the creators. So now you kind of have to work with okay, here's who we got, how can we do this? So even though they really wanted this to be a show just, without Batman, they have to do it. I just don't think. They have to I do just it. don't think there's enough material. There isn't enough that's material. TV worthy. Yeah. Because here's the thing: in the comics, you can have it be uh, an entire five issue run, right. you know, five months worth of story about just Falcone right. and like drug running. Right. You. That's. It's doable. It's easily doable. Right. Because it's five comic books that you can read in an hour. And that's it. That's it. Like right. you read that whole story, whereas this is an hour every week. Right. This and is you twenty just, plus episodes. Yeah. So this is this is you know this is five months worth of comics every week. Right. So in my in my opinion, I I mean, I, I don't I, like we both agree this episode was great. Yeah. I think to finish off Gotham, I I want to say is uh, I hope, I hope they figure out how to make this show. A Batman, not Batman show. Yeah, I. You know what I'm I saying. I think they if they if so, if they turn this into what, um, the Bruce Wayne show was gonna be. Sure. Um, Which will make sense. With the Bruce Wayne show, if you guys don't know, uh, back in the days of Smallville, uh, probably season two, they were talking about, oh, we're gonna have an episode where Bruce Wayne shows up, and then we're gonna spin that off into a Bruce Wayne TV series right. about like young 15, 16 year old Bruce Wayne. Right. And. I hope that's kind of what this show becomes. I hope so too. I hope it becomes kind of like Smallville, sure. whereas like, I, it won't run ten seasons. Right. I don't, well, think, I don't think there's enough material on the show to run ten seasons. Listen, they even if could, you ran it for ten, like he, ten consecutive years sure. of the story, he'd be twenty five and me, he'd be Batman. Like the last season would just be Batman. Well, that's <laughs> like, it would just be Batman movies. Well, that's true. But here's the thing: in 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 Smallville, he technically was Superman, even though he wasn't Superman. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that's what I'm saying. You you, you would have to do it where the last, so you know, three, four seasons in, you call it five even, you, which is odd, but funny. Uh, uh, you call it five seasons total. Right. And the last episode, Bat Signal, Cowl, everything. Yeah, I mean, listen. Dude, like, I just, just that last scene, yeah, just like they did Superman. The, all I have to say is this show does not work without Bruce Wayne, and I just there's just not enough material. There's there not enough just material. Just isn't enough material. For this show, then it's just a cop show, right? For this show to last, here's the thing: when they try to do anything outside of Batman, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Right. Anytime they introduce something that deals with Batman, it works. Yeah. 
I mean, you just look at the first couple episodes where they you know, they had the the balloon killer and like the the guy who killed women like every X right. amount of years or whatever. They were like good cop episodes. They were good cop episodes. Like, they like, were like, like I can watch SVU for that yeah, shit. That, that's it, it, it. They they have to do something different, which means you they have to introduce Batman elements. Yeah, which means the, that they have to turn this into a Batman here's show. Here's the thing: like, you call it Gotham, people think Batman. It, it's kind of like for me, you call it Agents of Shield. I'm thinking Shield, Marvel, part of our thinking, universe. Yeah, like I'm thinking Marvel. I'm thinking a lot of different superheroes, not necessarily super powered superheroes, but superheroes. So when you say Gotham, I'm thinking, you're showing me Batman villains, I want the heroes. Yeah. Give, give me something. Give me... And I'm not saying full-out hero Batman, but I'm saying, yeah. like you said, wearing a, just a, like a black ninja his, his suit. Like, his trial runs. His, right. His early his, like, days. Where he's starting. Where like, he's I'm like, I'm going to do that. Maybe, maybe not even like full-on like, you know, protecting the city missions. Right, right, right. But like, in this search for his parents' killer... Yes. He dons a black outfit, yes. like you know, black hoodie. Yeah, black hoodie, and maybe like you just do a little, like little Nightwing type design. Listen, just, the hoodies just, are out there. Just, just give it just a little hint of that Batman logo. <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah, so, so you I, can play this. You can have that, Warner Brothers. You can have that. You, that's that's on us. That's, that's on, on us. us. But yeah, that's that's basically where that's at. I don't yeah, really have I, much else to say. Yeah, I I like the episode. I, I I'm interested to see how the season ends. Yeah, I'm. Fox still hasn't said if they're renewing it. This is about the time where they need to be saying if they're renewing it. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I think by the end of March, if we don't know anything, the show's canceled. Yeah, here's my realistic my view. Thought. Here's my realistic view on this. One, I do hope they continue it and they do incorporate Bruce Wayne like we want him to. I don't think that's going to happen. I think what's going to happen in all reality, Fox is going to cancel this show. It's Fox. If they're not getting good news, guess what? Fox cancels. They don't give two craps. So. Yeah, it, it, it's just how it is. I mean, yeah. it, it's just. Like statistics, it's, it's happened before. Yeah, it's just so. there's, I never put a past box anymore. Like if some if somebody told me, oh, Fox canceled this show, I'd be like, oh, uh, it was like, a Tuesday. Not it was a Tuesday. Yeah, it was a Tuesday. Uh, so um, that's basically it. But well, let's move into successful TV successful. shows that are having second seasons. Uh, let's talk about Flash. Flash, man, Flash. I'm trying to remember what happened. Go start. So that out. was after. So that was after the explosion. Okay. Uh, they realized, yes, oh, yes, there's yes, no yes. radiation. Yeah. Cool. So let me run back in, check on these guys. They're both separated, yep. which was cool. I like that they cool. did that. Yep. Um, I like that uh, they had that. Like they both wanted pizza. Like right, at, right at the beginning, you get that little hint that something wasn't yep. quite right. I thought it was cool. Um, it was like, oh, pizza. Like he hates pizza. Yeah. And um, I, you know, Eiling was there. Um, I think it's going to be really hard. It's hard for me to believe that uh, Stein doesn't realize that Wells poisoned, not poisoned him, but knocked him out with a drink. Yeah, no, I find it really hard that. to believe that, like after that happened, Stein wasn't like, "Dude, so why did you spike my drink?" Yeah, that is a good. But talk. next episode, they are not next episode, but in, like next month, they're revealing him. He's going to stand revealed. No, they had a they had a preview after. But it's for next, but it's for next month. Oh, it's not coming back till next month. Uh, maybe, but it said uh, March seventeenth is when that's when that that episode's happening. So they must be going another hiatus then, because like maybe, but like I, that was a trailer, right? Like that was yeah. It said March seventeenth. No, I understand that, but I'm telling you, like that the, was the trailer right after. It? That was the trailer. maybe they are that another hiatus right after. They might be on another hiatus. Oh, It'd be man. stupid, but. Oh. But listen, uh, this episode was great. One, like you said, they split them out. Two, they're not split because clearly they're linked. Right. That was awesome. The fact that they were merged together and got out of it, yeah, that was great. The, the fact that they accepted it, the fact that they like let it happen, worked it. Somebody put out a meme. It was hilarious. He's like, I need to leave. You know, he's like, because at the end, they're like, we need to go. We're going to go talk to one of Stein's buddies. He's going to help us with our powers, which I think is weird because I don't know why you need to talk to somebody who doesn't really know what you're going through. Right, right, right. Like, no one knows what you're going through. Um, but they're like, we're going to have to go. And somebody created this meme that says, I have to go, uh, not for any reason, but because uh, CW can't afford the Firestorm graphics. Ah. <laughs> it, but that was one of the greatest moments on that TV series. Yeah. He's when he's like, let's go home. And it's like, Flash, Firestorm doing a spin. I was like, it was, I it lost was my just, mind because he was like just doing a barrel roll behind him, and I was like, "Man, that's oh." It was it was just perfection. a really good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I just I absolutely enjoyed. It. I love at the end he takes the the guy that I hate and he gets him to Grodd, and oh, I was like, "Wells, 
you are my and, hero for and that, that so even they, they though you're reverse this, flash. And I think they waste I think that beam is is funny because at the end of that episode they have Grodd show up in the shadows, but still But he's still there. But it's not great. Like, the graphic isn't great. Like, right. it's a CG gorilla, and I can tell it's a CG gorilla, and it's not as good as it should Listen, be. Listen. So I was like, it's that meme is even funnier, because, like, it was a whole lot of firestorm this episode. They were like, we're out of budget for this episode. Just throw me a monkey in a shadow. Well, here's <laughs> the thing. I, I personally couldn't tell and uh, how bad it was. Because it, look, it almost looked like it was two models. It was two different models. I couldn't. I That's couldn't, what bothered me. I couldn't tell. Um, I, I'm not I rewound it. I rewound it, like, four times. Because I watched gonna, it, and I was like... That's awesome, and I was like, "Wait, what?" I'm not Go gonna because listen. So far, they've been doing great, so I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna judge it until I see God. And sure. He person. said. He said, "Oh my God!" It's like, no, not God. 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 And I was like, "Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. It was like, hello. He's like, "Have we met?" Boom, Wells in the suit, and I was like, "Damn." Yeah. Because we had that red streak, and we. I think really somebody bomb. keeps messing up on the editing because I think we saw the red streak when he ran in the red suit this episode. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, when he runs, when he brings the soldier, when he's running, I think you see a red suit. Oh, in the yellow suit. In the yellow suit. Um, I think somebody's messing up on the freaking editing on this. Maybe. <laughs> CW, creators of Flash, please get your editor on straight on this you, one. Unless you go with me <laughs> and, and, and he is a good guy. Right. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, it doesn't make we're going to figure it out once it shows up, once yeah. it happens. Yeah. So March 17th, we get to find out. Although he does, you saw that where he like splits himself. Right. He's vibrating in two yeah. places at once. He's rather, rather he's moving so fast that he's visible in two places at right. once. Which I guess if that's the route they're gonna go with to explain how that's he punched a hell himself, of a route because he wasn't he wasn't vibrating in when he was in that thing. And plus, that thing's supposed to prevent the Flash from being able to use the well, power. Yeah, but he uses he uses a reverse speed force. That's why he couldn't oh, okay, get out. Because okay. he said, he's like, I'm not exactly the Flash. Like, someone say I'm the reverse. Right. So he literally uses a reverse speed okay. So he, that's why they were, they designed it to prevent the Flash from escaping. Sure. But because the vibration is different, just right. bl entirely different, he was able to. But like, still, regardless, he was still physically in a chair and physically in that bubble. Yeah. Granted, not necessarily physically in that bubble because he could have been vibrating away from there. Yeah, but when they there's showed just up, way there's too, way too much. He would have to be so overpowered. Yeah. But like with this like leg that stops working every once in a while. Yeah, that was know. interesting. It's just gonna be. It's I. I want to know how they're gonna explain the the simultaneous presence of Reverse Flash and Wells in the same place. Yeah, because um, that was that was definitely right after the episode. That was like now it's time to because like uh, Cisco is like. Wait, Wells did what? And like, because at least like on the Arrow, it was it was uh, it was Diggle in the costume, right, and Oliver right, right, was out right, in right. the public, and everyone was like, "Oh, well, clearly like, Oliver Queen, Arrow, not the same dude." Right, that reminds like, me of Batman and Superman switching spots sometimes. So stuff. great, I love those <laughs> moments. <laughs> so like that's what that reminds me of. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was just a great episode. I, Honestly, I, this I is, love guys it. until they do a bad episode, and I'm like. This was a shit episode, which will never happen. I really liked it. It was really good. On it, you was guys. it was just way comic book. Like, yeah, it was just, it was just, just blasting stuff. Seeing it was Wells great. at the end take off the mask. Yeah, it was that like, giveaway. Like, it gives us something to yeah. think about and talk about. You know, we while, see Grodd. While, while the people don't we know. see Grodd. But. It was it was fantastic and I'm no I just I, have I some, hope it's not a hiatus I hope they have other episodes. I hope it's not either because they because that's like four weeks I know three weeks that's what I'm hoping not either because that because what else because what will be on like it's not like the Olympics or anything nothing I don't know nothing is on that's dumb nothing is on yeah that's so I dumb. don't know I mean maybe they just showed that because they want to get you hyped up even more sure and maybe they just got some like filler episodes right <laughs> maybe that's a possibility but I I hope it's not filler because that would be just crap. I mean, it could be good filler. Well, it could be good filler, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's going to be A great episode, guys. Great episode. I, I don't say I don't know what else to say about it. Yeah, let's talk about Arrow. Yeah, let's talk about Arrow. Oh, that was a good episode. That was a good episode. I can't wait for the... Honestly, like, not even talking about that episode. I can't wait for the next one when we see Adam, so... Oh, well, yeah, well, you got Adam coming up, so... And he's he hasn't been in the last couple episodes. He's, yeah, he was so it's like, the last one. So it's like, she gave him the chip. He's not in any more episodes, yeah. and it's like... Boom, he's going to be there in, in full the next episode there. in full suit. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting. That's going to be cool. That's going to be interesting. I really like that. I like the fact that we got the reveal. Yeah.
I think the fact that we we're just done hiding. It the seems fact like that it seems like that stroke is mellowing out. He clearly doesn't have that crazy passion of vengeance anymore because he was willing to let him now live and stay on the island and leave him there. Yeah, like he could have easily killed Thea. And I think they might be they might be breeding him maybe more toward like I said if. Titans is gonna be on the CW. Right. They might be bringing him more towards that where he's not as ridiculous. Right. Uh, because Titans is gonna have to be not necessarily a little more kid friendly. If it's again, if it's on CW, and I still don't know what the, where that's going. But if it is on CW, it has to be a little more kid friendly than those two I shows. I truly hope it's on CW because it would only make sense to me. I would say so. It but anyway, I get it. Why Gotham? I can see why Gotham. I, I honestly don't know why uh, Supergirl. If Clearly, I, apparently, from what I understand, Supergirl is not going to be uh, CW. CW. Yeah, I, I think she's like sci-fi or something with Krypton. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't know why they're <laughs> doing that personally, but I think that's I off th the subject. Yeah, but. I think uh, this was a really good episode. I liked the further revelations. I, I like the fact that he was just pretty much put it all on the table. He's like. Yeah, so you killed Sarah, and she lost it, and right. she was supposed to. And he's like, he wasn't supposed to tell you that. Like, uh, what? Uh, all day. All day, Merlin. Like, I'm Mer talking to you, John Barrowman. <laughs> and, uh, all day it, he was supposed is. to tell her that. He's and, her brother. And the fact that he kept it from her, she should have stabbed him in the other shoulder. <laughs> and we talked about this for the for the Jupiter Ascending Review. When, when Thea had that gun on, on Deathstroke's face... I would have shot that one. I would have shot that. Face. Yeah, yeah. I would have shot his whole face off. But the thing is, is like, but Oliver's like, not the, the killer point, that he was. Yeah, the whole point was that she didn't want to. She didn't he want wants her. to save her. He doesn't want her to, to be, be a killer. killer. Yeah, and I she get doesn't that. want to be a killer. And like, I get that, but like, oh man, I want to shoot kill him Destro. Face. And you can't kill Destro. You can't okay. kill Destro. I just, if it was anybody else that didn't make any matter yeah, to this I universe. Just, Fine. I really wanted to but kill, you can't kill Destro. I, like, I hope honestly, I was like, you have him, you have him, just just do it. Just pull the trigger. It's, honestly, it's over. The, there is a few characters I don't want to ever see die because I want to see them be in this universe. One, uh Merlin. I think Merlin is just the overall. I, I mean good, I think like, Merlin might be magic at this point. <laughs> I, I, I truly believe that like Merlin is that uh that one villain that Arrow is always gonna have there. Yeah, you know and I mean, he, like, he's he, that, he he's that guy. He kind of is. He's, yeah, he's a dark archer. He's, he, he's, even though Deathstroke feels like that because of the history they have together, I think Merlin is that guy. Merlin is the guy that's just supposed to be there all the time sure. messing with Oliver. And I think that's sure. awesome. Sure. And I hope they keep him forever. But yeah, this episode, absolutely. I mean, once again, just like Flash, great episode. We saw, you know, that uh, Deathstroke isn't as crazy as he was. Because right. that would make sense. I mean, he doesn't have the Miracle in him anymore, so it's not making him psychopath. Like, he still wants kind of vengeance, but not to the point where he was at while right. he was still on the Miracle. Um... We saw the island again, which was cool. I love the whole, like, who, what idiot puts that there? Like, me. Like, that was great. Right. Uh, the flashback that he was in the city, I enjoyed it. I think it was done well. It, it, I think it, it was makes, done It makes really sense. Well. It makes sense. You know, he saw the message from me. Like, he was ready. He was ready. I'm like, my mom's going to see me. I'm at the house. He watches the message. Makes sense. Like, what his friend told him, plus what his dad said to him, it just makes sense why like, he you, didn't you gotta, He's like, you got to take this mission on. You got to be the guy, and it's very much like, all right, all right, I get it. I'm being selfish. Let's let's yeah. do this. Let's handle business. Absolutely. So I overall, I mean, that everything was just done properly, in mm -hmm. my opinion. I and think it was an overall really well done episode. I like the fact that we're seeing um, Captain Lance deal with his deal with the yeah. death of his yeah. daughter. Yeah. And I um, do like the fact that they were showing because Oliver was back in the city how Captain Lance became a dr like how he was as a drunk should I say yes how yes he was as a yes because that was kind of the big thing is right uh, when the show started he wasn't a drunk anymore right um, and when when Laurel became a drunk he um, he was kind of her fallback mm -hmm. for for you know hey you need to deal with this this right. this this and uh, so to see that and how he dealt with it and. Uh, I liked that Tommy was on there. I think it's funny because the actor clearly gained some weight. Oh, he gained some weight. Sorry, he some sorry. Weight. I, I so don't know like, his name, but I the guy that plays t the guy that plays that. Sorry, bro, but he gained some you, weight. You had a belly in that one. He gained some belly. weight, and I was like, 
That's not Tommy. Like that's like Tommy, like retired. Tommy. Retired Tommy. <laughs> yes, that is retired Tommy. He let himself go because you know what he does not. And, so, him. but like you know, if you really want to kind of go go that route and say, all right, well, like his friend just died. It's been two right, years. Right, right. So two years since his friend died. Maybe he had a year of like really mourning, like depression. Was and maybe eating Laurel like brought crazy, him back. Right, food was maybe his being with Laurel, Yeah, maybe being with Laurel brought him back. Right. And, he got, you know, right, maybe up. all the alcohol drinking, empty calories, man, empty, empty calories. calories. So, uh, I guess, I guess, I it, guess. There, there is a, a workaround for it. It was just kind of funny. Like, I noticed that, and I was like, huh. I noticed it, too. I couldn't get off of it. I was like, oh, like you stand there, and I was like, man, he looks so different. I'm like, he's just, like, rounder. And, yeah. He's definitely rounder. Right, like, and, like, I'm not one to speak, like, obviously. I'm, I'm round. I'm right, like, right, I'm a round right. fellow. But, I mean, just, yeah, yeah. That was that was interesting. I, I yeah. couldn't stop looking at it either because every time he was on screen, I was like, "I, I liked." There was little, like clearly, little you bits gave up. <laughs> of, there was little bits of everything. You know, there was a lot of talk of um, kind of like it explained a few things from the past. It set up a few more conversations in the episode. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I think overall it was a great episode. I think it was well produced, well well written, really well written. I think. Right. So I think. Um, so what's the next episode on that? Next episode's Adam showing his costume. Yeah, Adam. Um, I think that was like the bigger focus of it. I don't. And that would make sense. I don't remember. I, I, I want him. I want him to like come out first time out and fail. Yeah. I want it to like shut down mid mid fight. Yeah, I mean, I don't want it to go <laughs> perfect. I definitely want it yeah. to like have some issues because clearly it's just still a prototype. It's a prototype, but at the same time, the reason they brought him on is they they wanted to show off somebody who's gonna have fun with being a superhero. Yeah. Have fun with being a billionaire. Yeah. And I think they might have it go perfect. And I think that he's just going to roll off that. Which gonna... is I'm fine with also. Yeah, because it's, it's I part of the Because I want to see that because, yes, this show needed a fun Cause billionaire. Because as, as, as much as Oliver he does have that dark the, history, right. like his wife was killed. Was still having, he's he's still... This, he has that kind of dark motivation, but he's still a very positive guy. Right. He's very happy. Um, and I like that. I still I don't like, like Brandon Routh as an actor, but... I That's, do. I enjoy him. I enjoy I him. I don't like him on this. I didn't like him in Superman. See, I, I did enjoy I him on hated this. Him on I think he does the comedy on this really good. I think I actually have I, no problem with him. I don't know this. if it's the way he, that Palmer's written or what exactly, but I, especially on the show, I don't like him. Chuck, <laughs> bless Ooh, you. Excuse me. Uh, Chuck is probably the my, my yeah, best. My <laughs> ah, bless you. Yeah. Uh, Chuck Please. is probably the, the, the best performance I've seen from him. But even then, he was kind of like a little weird. And there's something awkward about the way... Brandon Roth, I got you, man. I like He him. likes it. I liked him. I, I, like, I, think, I, I think you got some room to grow. Because Brandon Roth is watching this. Uh, right, you know. Hey, you never know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but maybe, I, he, maybe he Googles himself. I, I think it would be... I think it's going to be cool seeing... Um, seeing him in the suit, sure. Um, and his face is basically. I want him uncovered. to. I want him to stay. I want him to stay comedian. Uh, I don't want him to get serious. I want him. To, I mean, yeah. there's going to be serious moments. I, I want. I want. But I like the, the comedy. I want. Aspect. I want Flash, the character of Flash, and the Adam on, on Arrow, to be the like shining beacons of happiness and yes. goodness in this like dark and dreary DC landscape. Because like. They flat out said like no comedy in the DC movies. Like you can have jokes in context, but you can't have like funny movies or funny characters. Right. Like it's just like it's literally forbidden. Right. So that's why I want them to be these like beacons of light. And well, goodness. that's why uh, The Rock uh, doing Black Adam that uh, Shazam movie is actually going to be fully comedic and it's legendary. So there it's. It's going to be a separate movie. It's, it's going to be completely... Well, it's, it's not going to be in DCU. It's though. not going to be in the DCU, from what I understand. <sighs> That's a thing. You know what's funny? That means but that doesn't make sense. That means they're pussing out. That means they're pussing out. That means they're literally copping out of having to deal with magic in that universe. That doesn't make you sense. Can you have Superman. <laughs> That's not magic. Because you can explain away... Uh, Amazon. Alien. Well, you can explain away Amazons, aliens, and a guy who uses money to build up a you know arsenal. But you can't explain magic. You can't explain magic. So I think they might literally, because you can say, oh, like, because the Amazons can just be a warrior race that sure. grew up, not a warrior race, but a warrior culture that grew up on a on a segregated island. 
We'll talk about that next anyway, time. Anyway. Yeah. But, uh... It'd be funny. I enjoy I'll that, laugh. so... I will laugh. Green, I will just, like, do a five-minute video of me laughing if, if it's not part of the DCU. Green Arrow, Flash, I think everything we watched with this review was just good. Yeah. Everybody did a good job, and I would like to see that almost every week, because then this show's going to get boring, or this these, these things, these films, these episodes that we do, that we create talking about shows are going to get boring because everything's just going to be great. Yeah. We're just going to see her what a somebody, smile Somebody needs face. to screw up. Like, it'll be literally... It should be like... It'll be a minute video of us doing this <laughs> and just... That's it. Because, I mean, right now, they honestly, they all... There's just nothing bad to say about anybody. Everybody did a great job. Um, that's that's basically... But we still got to do Walking Dead. And for this last uh, last review uh, for The Walking Dead, uh, we've got my fiance. Uh, we call her Extended Warranty around here, and uh, yeah, let's let's talk about that. Yeah, um, me starting. You know what? We'll let the guests. Yeah, go ahead. Let's what what did you the, think of this episode? Of Walking um, Dead? Episode. So this is kind of the episode. So we had the first uh, mid-season opener, and that was kind of like half the group and. Just keep yeah. going. So it was like um you had you had half the group for the first one. Right. It was yeah. very visual. It had a yeah. lot of hidden stuff in it. Yeah. Um and the so this whole artistic view. Yeah. And so this this episode was kind of everybody's reunited again. They're kind of trying to figure out what they're gonna do next and you know, normal walking dead stuff, running into adversity and such. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I I think it was interesting because um it was at the end of the, the previous episode, they decided, all right, we're going to go to Washington. And now it's like, all right, we're, what do they say, like six miles away? 60, I think. Yeah, I think they're 60, I think they're 60 miles away from where they uh, need to be. Because yeah. didn't they say they're already gone like 100 or Right, something? yeah, they're like oh. 60 miles it's away. It's been a little bit. Cause yeah, so it's, the, it's been a the while. They, they've, they've run out of all resources. They're all pretty much dying. And it's just kind of... It's a really good characterization episode. Everybody, everybody talked a lot about their feelings. It was a feelings episode. Yeah, it definitely was a feelings episode. A lot of people like uh, we see Meg dealing with Beth's um, uh, death, which is mm -hmm. something a lot of people were uh, complaining about when Beth was actually gone for a while before she died. Uh, a lot of people are like, "Oh, why is Maggie not, you know, showing any kind of feeling or, you know, that's true. She didn't really, she not really deal with it before. Did she acknowledge it? Mm -hmm. And I think that just had to do with obviously everything that was going on with sure. them at the time. Uh, then we see uh, Daryl show his emotions about Beth. Mm -hmm. uh, we see Rick actually like talk about something in his past, which you don't right. normally see Rick do. Yeah. He just worries about surviving. Mm -hmm. uh, and just a lot of character character emotions being shown and then on top of that we see the like the reverend actually uh you know maybe losing faith and then coming right. back with the faith and right, then also yeah. trying to be part of the group too so it was definitely interesting part of the episode uh, I, what's the other girl's name the the one that was with tyrese yeah sarah. I, I can never remember her is name. it sarah i don't it's sarah Okay. I can never remember. Yeah, her. so like she, she's yeah. she's going through some things now. Yeah, she's she's, right, she's yeah, because yeah, Tyrese is dead. Bob right. just died, so she's yeah, losing she's a lot. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's losing a lot, and it's definitely one of those things where everybody's feelings kind of made them want to be solitary, and I don't want to talk to you. I'm just gonna sulk over here. But then, gigantic tornado while they're stuck in a barn, and there's uh, like a, a sea of freaking walkers shows up. And they all have to, all literally just brace up against the door and just like mm -hmm. hope against hope that they don't die. Yeah, yeah, and I thought that was a pretty cool scene because you you see that even though a lot of stuff has gone down, like a lot of negative stuff, uh, they still have the, the will to fight on, to continue on. Because they could have easily just screw it, either ended their own lives yeah. or just let the zombies do what they need to do. Yeah, because you, you had Daryl jump on the door, yep. and he was like, oh, walkers, I'm going to hold it up, and then everybody else kind of realized what was going on and then jump in on top of that, but they could have just stayed decided, like, all right, well, here's the end. Right. I'm going to let this happen. Right, exactly. But I don't feel like people do that in real life anyway. Like, if it comes to the difference between 
you know, you're gonna die this horrible death and try and save yourself. Like, they've made it this far. I right. Don't, what, are you really gonna give up? No. But, I mean, you would think so, but think about it. They have lost so much and so so often. Yeah, but yeah. are it's, you gonna be the one that's responsible for, like, oh, Daryl? Daryl's holding the door, and so I'm just, I'm gonna let them get him. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep sleeping. And I think that's, that's that kind of... The, the, Except the, for the baby. The baby doesn't help. I know. That baby just kind of, like, sits there in the barn. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> pull, pull your weight. Yeah. Pull your weight. Although I will bring up the baby, I will say this when uh, uh, Carl, put on Carl puts on the floor. <laughs> I was like, like, "What is wrong with well, you?" Well, here's the thing: like he puts on the floor. I'm like, "This is where the baby starts learning how to crawl. She's gonna crawl through a hole. And one of the zombies or a tornado is gonna get her, yeah. and boom, the baby thing is done with. We don't have to worry about and her seriously, no more." Seriously, because a it's thrown off my my time orientation in the show because up until the baby, it had been like a year, let's say six months to a year of what was going on. Now, the baby's still, like, less than a year old, like, but it's been two seasons. But it's... <laughs> the time is weird, though, in the show, because sometimes it's, like, a day, and sometimes it's been weeks. So. Yeah, that's true, and I, right, yeah. I think it would... Uh, yeah, but, like, between these two episodes, baby. 100 Miles, like, it takes a long time. Like, that. Uh, that's probably a week's worth of... Walking. Depending yeah. if they just did a walk in, I mean, they could have had a car stopped and then it like ran out of juice or whatever. I think we're presuming that they were walking. Cause right. They started walking. Right. They didn't have a car. They right. keep getting cars here and there. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think I think because like even when they find that uh, uh, the pile of cars in the beginning of the episode, they I mean, look they through it and they scavenge. But, but they didn't try to turn them off. Well, yeah, but I mean, I think they. I think they, they might figure because they're right. They're, they I got think, left there. They're I, probably out of here. And also, I think they've done that probably throughout the thing. You know, not necessarily what we've seen, sure, but sure. like I think you can just presume like they've tried probably getting other vehicles to make this trip faster. Because I highly doubt they walked the whole way. Well, I mean, they, they had the fire yeah. truck for a while, so. And they have so many people that even if you could get one of the cars to start, like, what, I don't know, do you take, because even if you took turns, like, the car's going to go faster, you can't fit everybody in the car, True, is there really right. a, a point to taking a car, I Right, suppose, right, no, and absolutely. splitting up the group? Yeah, no, that's, you're right, you're right, because if they find one car, how does that help, unless it's, like, a truck, sure, where everybody can fit, or something, especially yeah. now that the group is big again, mm -hmm. like, now we've it's got all these, like, group. there's so many people that I don't know all the names again, yeah, yeah. It's so. still a big group because even though we've lost a lot, you can still see in that pan in that that frontal shot where everybody's walking towards the cameras. Yeah, it's a big group. Like oh, Except, we've lost these well, people, but there's still plenty of them. Yeah, so but what, what we've up. lost now, right. what we've lost now is that that direct connection. So I don't think besides like Glenn. Glenn and Maggie because they're married, right? And Rick, Carl, and and um, the baby, Judith, Judith, yeah. Judith. Uh, those are the only the like baby. relations. Everybody else is effectively strangers that have come together, right? Mm -hmm. So now it's it's even more kind of a interesting scenario because now you have strangers. Like you have no true obligation to a stranger, um, you know. I, it's a family. Like, I, I would, mean, I would live and die but for families. Been, but like, but Daryl's been there from the beginning. Right. Yeah, so and that's, like that's, and they, and they talk about that. Like they, they talk about like this is a family. Like we're right. gonna do this together, um, and they kind of reinforce that. But like I said, it's there's but like only actual like a couple. Family, yeah, like right, actual. Right. Yeah, you've lost it because Sarah had Tyrese. Mm -hmm. You had Beth, who was Maggie's, Maggie's sister. sister. You had like, Herschel, you had who was Herschel the dad. before. Yeah, so like. Actual family members are being lost. Like yeah. Sarah's love interest was lost. Yeah, Rick's um, wife was lost. I, I hope Noah dies. Like he, like he, I don't even think he spoke this episode. Not really. Yeah, I feel like he was like I in don't... one shot and then he was gone. Yeah, we had that last episode. Obviously, with them going to his town where he was originally at, where it felt safe. I don't know, he I did. He did him. speak. He said yeah. something about like I'm sorry what happened. Yeah, but uh, I mean, otherwise, yeah, this whole episode, he didn't really have much. Like, I feel like he should have been as bad, if not worse, than Sarah. Mm hmm Yeah. Because, like, he was the reason Tyrese died. Yeah, that's true. Well, one of two things is going to happen. Either either they're going to get rid of him soon because he's newer, and I don't feel... Like, I don't have a super strong connection to him. No. And so, like, he's newer, and... But at this other time, it's sort of like, what does he do? Because, obviously, his family's gone and he was going to be with his family and that was going to be what he was going to do so he would have to die like yeah. there's not like he would have to die to get him off the show I they, don't, there's I, no way they can't like leave him anymore. i don't see him as a character lasting no i think whatever no. next thing they come upon that they have to deal with we might see him leave right 
I like and that might be with Beth. Beth, but Beth is gone now. So yeah, if kind of Beth no was around, I think it would have worked out sure. as a relationship sure. better, but I don't... Since she's gone, he really doesn't have anybody to connect to. Right. Yeah, it, it's... He's just kind of there. And, like, yeah. you, you even saw it in that, you know, that, that wide shot. He he wasn't next to anybody. He just had that one little moment where he was like, you know, hey, I'm sorry about right. what happened. And that's it. That's all he had to say for the rest of the episode. It was one of those things like... What do you do here exactly? But there's so many people that it's hard to get anybody. To and that's true too. Because yeah. they do that. I mean, that's what they've yeah. been doing with most of the episodes. Is you the groups are split? Yeah, they up focus and so on they different stuff. Here, right. Half there. Now it's like everybody together again. But I kind of feel like he's a little bit of dead weight. Like um, the mullet. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to go. Yeah. Um, oh, I, well, I think so. I think that's interesting, and it was cool because he um, I forget his name, but the right. mullet, mullet mullet guy. Uh, mullet was gonna. He was gonna go do something stupid, right? It's like on the tip of my head, but like drink water, the water. Oh yeah, he was gonna drink, yeah, was drink gonna water. Drink so, so they walk up to literally just a mountain of water. Security it says assurance. from a friend, from a friend, and it's like you don't uh, have friends. Like, uh, you, <laughs> like all my friends are right here. Quality assurance. Quality yeah. assurance. Um, uh, Eugene. Eugene. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah. So Eugene's like, uh, this. I'm gonna. I'm thirsty as hell. And uh, Soldier Boy. I forget. I forget his name too. Uh, oh yeah, uh, he's Soldier Boy. I, yeah, I uh, remember him in five minutes. Like he, uh, he, he like slaps the water out of his out of his face, and like the only thing I can think of was like, you, you know, in his head he's like, you put me through so much shit, protecting your little pissant life, and now you're gonna take this gigantic risk right in front of my face. No, I like, think that's absolutely. exactly. Like, I, I think he's I, gonna make no sure that kid stays alive. As long as possible. There's no just way like, that wasn't to, going to, to like to, to, to justify to himself all the work that yeah, he did. Yeah, absolutely. Like, he's no going gonna to make him stay alive until he does something redeeming. But yeah. I also feel... Well, and then the other thing could be... Okay, so what you have to understand, I don't watch... Talk, like, you watch Talking Dead. Mm -hmm. I don't watch I do. Talking Dead. Mm -hmm. I haven't read the comics, so I don't know anything about the graphic novels. Yeah, I don't know. But, like, I kind of feel like Eugene is sort of... Maybe he wasn't even being like, oh, I'm going to save you because I've done it so much already, and this is like a... I kind of feel like Eugene is like a stupid puppy, and it's like, no, you're bad, stop! <laughs> like, just like a, a, a reaction. Right, Not even right. necessarily thinking about you know all this behind it from but. what i understand last time when when eugene revealed that he doesn't know anything mm -hmm. right. um he was on the show and they mentioned that eugene is a character that was in the comics and he is a character that um i from what i understand is going to be involved quite a bit mm -hmm. on some of the things that happen sure so, well I mean, but i mean they're, but they're, they're they going a different, go a different way, way. yeah, yeah they haven't way. followed 100 percent on right. the comics so that doesn't mean i think they they, follow they've that. hinted at certain things because in the previous episode they had like the 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 zombies with the i'm sorry the walkers with the uh, well, like chopped off legs and arms mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh and they had that w's carved in them which apparently is a reference to something in the comics uh and then also the Glenn with the baseball bat, apparently, down the line in the comics, again, Glenn dies via baseball bat by some specific dude. And that's, I kind of feel like maybe that's where they're going to go. Like, I feel like they're just going to fuck Maggie's world up yeah. and have Glenn die soon. That sucks because I enjoy Glenn. I like Glenn. I don't know why. I like, I like I especially so liked him in the first season when he was the nerdy Glenn. Yeah. I like Glenn. Glenn as like an escape artist. I like Glenn every other episode. True. Yeah. The reason I like Glenn every other episode is because like some episodes he is a badass. Right, right, like, right. Like he will go just like one man, a whole squad of yeah. walkers. And then it's like next episode he's like, I can't shoot. I'm so scared. Like I can't. Pick one. Like you can't do both, bro. I haven't <laughs> seen that Glenn in a while. The one that where he's scared. I I've oh, the, the, lately yeah, the episodes been, haven't been focused. On right. Either. Lately, he's definitely been more of a badass. And I think that over time, because like even just at even that. at the uh, when they when they when they do the massacre at the church at the end of the the middle middle of the season, um, he was kind of like he was he was at the gun, and he was kind of looking at it like uh squeamish. <laughs> this is this uh, this is yeah. too much for me. Like, dude, you've killed so many walkers, even people, and now you're like, these people deserve it, and you're now you're squeamish? Right. Yeah, but at some point, I mean, certain things, I don't know, like, I can kind of see why he's that way sometimes, because they're, they're literally outnumbered, right? You're literally going to massacre them. You're, you're basically becoming what the governor was, because if you look at it that way, because that's what he did. 
there's few of you, there's few of you and I'm I'm you know either I'll let you live with me or I'll kill you right you know we'll decide on you know whatever we'll decide here and right. that's that's kind of I can see why he would second guess that they definitely deserved it and I would have taken not even a second to think about that because yeah. I would have no, yeah, done that, what I needed I do. wouldn't have even but, gone through the theatrics of it I would have just caught but, him as they were walking I mean in. some people do right. have uh, you know uh, where they second guess their actions and I that's I don't mind that um, but I, I man it would suck to see him I, yeah, I mean, I think I, I would rather have him stay and some of the newer characters die. Yeah. Uh, just because you have that long-term connection, but I think that's also the reason why they will kill him. Well, yeah, Because absolutely. they want that They want that connection for you personally. They want you to be like, oh, man, like that is that is what I didn't right. want to happen. Yeah. And it's kind of like they want you to be in their shoes. Right, right. So, yeah, overall, I... I thoroughly enjoy it. I, don't know I think he's. I think he's really interesting with that I can't. New guy. I can't. Yeah, th that was the one thing we didn't say yet. The, yeah. So at the end, the guy just shows up. It's like, like some super random dude, super like, clean. Like, I've never brand been new touched. outfit, fresh from the Gap. Yeah. Like I was just taking pictures. He's like, oh hey, I was just. Hey, he's like backpacking. Stroll. Yeah, yeah, he's like backpacking. backpacking. Yeah, yeah, that's probably new, the best way. Yeah, it's still got a tag on it. I just came for my J Crew shirt. Right, right. Or like LLB. I just bought this backpack. Like yeah, actually, I just I just came from the store. They got these. Awesome backpacks on sale. Never um, trust a clean person in right, right, right. I'm like, oh, you're oh. too clean, bro. Sorry, yeah. you, you're like, you have, you've showered m like more recently than a month ago. I think it's what's interesting is uh, he knows but, he knows Rick's name. Mm -hmm. He clearly knows the group somehow. He knows. They've been he don't know, stuff out for them. Right. We don't Someone know what has. the connection is. We're most likely assuming that he was a friend that put the yeah. water out. Because sure. I originally assumed maybe. Because he said I'm a friend. That's right. Kind of well, where I put that well, together. Yeah, that's when I put that together. But at first, when I saw the water, I just assumed it was the um, the black guy from like season one where Rick meets him. He's like, I'll walk you. Roger. Roger. Is that what it was? Because well, we saw. Because we saw. Because he's. Because he's. Of the fo yeah, he's, he's been following, following something. Some He's not following them. He's following those little marks, and who's making those marks? We don't know yet. Right. But it's one of those things that I was kind of hoping it was him because yeah, we were just talking thinking. about him. Yeah, that's what we I were was just thinking. talking about him before. We're like, man, I hope he comes back. But then, and then, then this guy shows up, random says, guy number Rick six. Here, I'm a friend, and then it's like, okay, well, clearly the water was from them or him. Right. But I, and I'm kind of I mean, hoping that's that's like he's connected to to Roger because. Then it's like maybe they're they've built right, up they've some built sort of up network. Work. Yeah, sure. Which and would make they're, sense. They're like, hey, they're gonna be over here. They're in this direction. Right. Go give them some Although, water. Although well, we, we've they seen those. Well, off anyway because they were like the attack dogs. So they dealt with those. Right. Well, they weren't attack dogs. They were. I think they were just. Rabbit I think dogs. they were just wild dogs. I know. I mean, but I don't know. Like even. You do see cases of wild dogs that all attack. Like in Russia, there's wild dogs that attack people, but those are dogs that are pretty much like born into the cities. Right, but like but two Greece, years, but two mostly, years of like not having human companionship. They didn't really look zombies. like they were like. The, but they, the dogs didn't. I mean, and the, again, this is you know like act, actor dogs, but right. <laughs> the dogs don't look like they really Thespian need dogs. food. <laughs> Well, like, no, because if you look at if you them. look at the fur on the one that actually had fur hanging off, I think it was a German Shepherd or whatever. Yeah. he looked grouchy. He looked like he was dirty. I mean, they looked dirty, but they didn't look like they like looked like they were starving. They didn't look right. like you would expect dogs that were having to fend completely for themselves. So okay. Like. Well, I mean, I, but yeah, but they couldn't like do that. Really. I no. personally, I think I think you have to assume there because I don't think they get like. I mean, I think there's a, a organization that prevents like the mistreatment I of mean, animals for TV shows. In, in, in all yeah. honesty, I mean, I didn't think anything, and still to this moment, I don't think the dogs had to do anything with the guy. I think those were just dogs that randomly found a group and that end up being sure. lunch. Mm. <laughs> I'm guessing it tastes like beef. It's gotta be uh, maybe pro I would say probably closer to rabbit, chicken. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we understand everything. Yeah, everything is like chicken. But yeah, so I'm I can't wait for the next episode because mm -hmm. I just uh, I I want to see how this evolves because clearly something's gonna happen next episode. Right. Because yeah, I mean definitely. Rick. I just don't want the, to. Be, I just don't scenes, want to get super slow again. Well, in one of the scenes, like you can see, like oh Rick says it's a trap. And you don't know if that has to do necessarily with him, mm -hmm. with the guy, or it's something else. Who knows? But I can't wait. They're going to have to do it anyway because it's sort of like the first The first one, while it had a lot going for mm -hmm. it, was still somewhat anticlimactic. Right. And this one's kind of also been anticlimactic. Right. It I was a like lot of information. Have, now you have to have something happen. Yeah, something has to happen. Yeah, it's yeah. going to kind of be like a Terminus, I yeah. think. 
Um, I mean, I don't think that the situation is going to be like Terminus, but it's going to be where it's like, where you know, it they is ran into something, something that, and now they're going to realize more what it is. Right. Sure. Which I'm, I'm kind of hoping it's the opposite. I'm kind of hoping it's like, I want, is it weird that in a post-apocalyptic show I want a happy ending? I want them to like end at like, it can get worse next season, but I, I want the season to end with like, they like oh, have a home, well, listen, they can this, go to sleep like after a shower. Listen, this whole season has been sadness. Yeah. Completely sadness. I mean, you I need start a pay off. Give me you, a payoff. You start out with them escape, trying to escape Terminus, which they do, mm -hmm. but then the guys find them, they eat Bob's leg, they kill Bob. Then, uh, then it just gets worse Beth. and worse. Right. Then you ben lose Beth. Beth. Then you uh, lose Tyrese. Tyrese. I mean, there's nothing been good about this right. season. Like, yeah. it's oh, been and you found out that um, Eugene made the whole. Oh yeah, thing yeah, up. and Eugene so is it, a it, fake. Yeah, which is, just I, a... I at least I, I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, me too. I, I was calling complete, it the whole okay, time. Okay, so well, for my thing, I thought he was like a gamer guy that like you know creepy like creepy dude that lives in his mom's basement <laughs> and he just is like he taking this like as it. the opportunity to be. This is wrong with gamer guys. I'm just saying. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with gamer guys. I mean, they don't all look. He seemed like the kind of guy that is like playing a lot of video games in his mom's <laughs> basement and you know it's like oh this is my chance to like you know be the hero but he right, doesn't right. know what he's doing but as they but even as he said himself where you found out see here's where I get confused where the seasons are because they keep splitting up so I think it was last half season right um where he was talking about you know that he 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 had made it up but it was made up because he's smart enough to put things together and figure right, some right. stuff sure. out and they've even said it in this season where it's or, or i think it was i don't I'm so confused. That is, that wasn't but, this. But yeah, even this, they were saying, you know, like he's he while he's not street smart by well, any I said, yeah, means, last episode, he's a smart episode. person. Like there's a reason he decided what he yeah, did. Yeah, like let's go to Washington. It's like well, there's nothing there. Yeah, but like there's a reason he picked Washington. Right. Because like that's where the important people are, and the government that's would protect really. Washington first. Absolutely. Like it's just it's logical. I mean, right. it's, yeah. Well, it, I mean, it makes I, sense to go. There. I will say this: the whole time, if we're talking about Eugene, the whole time when he. When they mentioned, oh, this guy's a scientist mm -hmm. and he knows how to cure, I was like, that's BS. Oh, yeah. not I, so, and I've never read the comic, so I didn't know if it was well, legitimately BS. And I said that too, and then that one episode where he like was busted like, out the full explanation, and I was that, like, yeah, true that. Right. All right. I yeah. mean, all right. I was like, it's not my place to judge. Like, different kinds of people end up being scientists. So, like, maybe it's cool to have a mullet and be a scientist. Like, hey, no, it's, it's not he, bad. Because he, he, he was like, so what's up with the hair? He's like, I like it. I want it to be different. Right. And I was like, Okay, I'll, like, I'll give you all of that. Right, yeah. but the thing, the thing to me is, is the reason I call it, honestly, it had nothing to do with his look. The reason I call BS, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, so there's this one maybe military guy. We don't know if he just has camo pants and is saying he's military. <laughs> this uh, is true. Yeah, there, you we know, still don't you, know, actually. Right, you got this one scientist that apparently knows the cure, but the government never got him. <laughs> like, yeah. it's just, it's, and he's in, he's in Atlanta. Uh, you know, like, and, it, it was, and he kept being like, "It's classified. It's classified. It is the end of like, the world. Nothing right, is classified. Right. If you at know anything, point, it is your." Like, what if you don't make it? Yeah. Like at some point, it's not classified no. anymore because if you die, which was most likely a, a, a chance, uh, you're gonna have to go ahead and tell other people how the cure works. Right. And, uh, and I mean, like, if he was so. In, in my honest opinion, if he was so, if he had the cure, he would have been in that. Uh, um, science lab where they met the guy where oh, he told him the that CDC? the virus, the CDC, yeah. where he told him the virus was, right, like, right. we would have seen him in that, so that's why I was kind well, of calling BS. I mean, yeah, that. this is true, this is true, yeah, that, that is where it would have been. But that was a whole different season, we're talking about this episode, and personally, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I liked the artistic style of the previous episode mm -hmm. compared to, like, I'm this, cool this, with that, um, I'm cool uh, with this one with first. Just being, with just being this one an episode, but, I mean, listen, we can't, on a consistent basis, have somebody getting shot or dying right. or like uh, we, still saw, even... we still saw zombies. We still saw zombies get beat up by the group, <laughs> and on top of that, go from you know We've get some demolished people by a tornado. Into yeah, we got yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was, it was cool. a good overall episode. Yeah. I think characteristically, it was really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, you got a lot of development. You you learn a lot about the characters. And you got this set up. It, it was a good cliffhanger ending where it was yeah. like, hey, I'm a complete stranger, but I know a lot about you. And it's like, oh, go on. And no. Yeah. Cut and credits. Like, yeah, like, so I was, I was, I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah, yeah. it'll be good. Yeah. We're just playing right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which we'll, 
we can watch. Your final thoughts? Well, well, I like that they well with the hints that like Bass is kind of watching over them with the music box. Right, right. Like, that kind of set There's up. a few hints in that yeah. because, in, like I said, in Talking Dead, uh, um, she mentions how the girl in the uh, mm -hmm. in the trunk looked like Beth because she had the blonde Which hair. Which I wouldn't have gotten that. I right. She just see. I thought she was just shaken up because it was certain. Well, from what I got from it, which seemed really messed up, was that it's like this person probably. Well, it's hard to say what they this were. This person or... was clearly a rape victim. Yeah. No, we don't like know that. or like human trafficking. No, what, what something it was going. She was fully bound, if, gagged. If I think what it was is somebody wanted her car, and they, you know, maybe they did other stuff to her, but somebody wanted her car, and they put her in the trunk of the car, and that's messed up in and of itself, regardless of anything okay, else that could have happened. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll or, make it or less, even less where, weird. Where, like, where like Maggie might have seen Beth in it. I didn't get that. I just saw it as like you know. This is some like this person wasn't killed. This person probably died in the trunk of their car. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. she died. For sure. Of yeah, she died of because she was just stuck in a trunk and she couldn't eat, mm -hmm. drink, or you know, breathe. At and some then she point. turned in there. Yeah. yeah. And just stayed in there. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and just finish your final thoughts. I really liked it. Um, I did. Yeah, like first episode, it wasn't as appealing as that one, but I think it set it up for it. So yeah. I liked it. I you know, and again, they kind of. I was expecting more from this episode, but they've set it up for the next one. So. Right. What about you? I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. I, same I'm here. excited for next one. <laughs> uh, same here. I think you know overall the episode was good, and I it, it kind of so where Project Almanax ending was shit. This ending was so good <laughs> that I can't wait for the next yes. episode. Yes. Yes. So there you go. We're gonna finish Check out the Project Almanac <laughs> review, please. Right. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty I much think. it. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys have any thoughts on the shows, if you watch them, if you liked them, hated them, uh, drop us a line below. Uh, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. We still have our uh, Facebook contest going on, yep. so if you uh, get us to 100 likes, we've got a router and a uh, audio technica headset headphones that we're giving away. So yeah, jump on that and hopefully get some new headphones or a new router. That's it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. As always, I've been Cerebro. Full throttle. Extended warranty. Signing off.